we welcome you to the drive long way. Thank you so much for responding to our invitation yes, uh, on the back good. of uh, yes, a conversation we had with your father yesterday and uh, saying that you were the day before. So how do you respond to the allegations that you killed Senzo? Um, I'm actually saddened that um, my own people can do this to me, you know. Um, I mean, it was a robbery gone wrong, you know. Um, I was even the coward of the day because I actually ran out as those uh, gunmen actually came in uh, uh, and requested phones and, and money from us. Uh, I was actually the first to stand up to try and protect uh, uh, everyone, not, not realizing that the other guy was, uh, also had a gun and pointed a gun at me and I actually ran out the door after, that, uh, after he, he pointed the gun at me in self-defense. Mm. From then, I was outside. Uh, I wanted to go uh, get help. Mm. Uh, but it was later, uh, neighbors and everyone was sleeping. I didn't even have my phone because I left it at the house, so I couldn't call the cops. So then uh, a, a, a fight broke loose inside because obviously uh, Senza was protecting Kelly because the guys were man- handling Kelly, requesting uh, money and stuff from her. And then uh, a fight broke loose. Basically, Senza was protecting everyone and he fought the guys. Everyone in the house fought as I was outside. Uh, uh, and then that's when... Uh, uh, the guys actually uh, um, released the gunshots. And the intention, I think, was also not to kill Senzo, but they were protecting themselves because Senzo was overpowering them as he's a strong goalkeeper and was actually beating them. And that's when uh, 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 the, the, the bullets actually went in from the back and, and, and killed Senzo. So, uh, as you probably know by now, there are a lot of, um, there's a lot of talk around this case. Yes. And there are recent allegations that have surfaced with the hashtag Senzo Meiwa on yes. social media. Yes. But we want to just hear from you. Mm. What actually happened on that day? Basically, um, what happened, I could say, was a robbery gone wrong. Uh, Were you gu- in the house? I was in the house when those, t- when those two guys, I, rem- I remember the, 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 the two guys. One was a, a, a tall, light guy who was wearing a sporty. And one was a short guy wearing a um, sort of khaki jacket. Um, he had dreadlocks. So when they came in, they, they, they demanded uh, money and, uh, and, and cell phones from us. Then I stood up because I was scared because I, 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 I didn't know what was going on, basically. I was actually probably the coward of the day, let me put it that way, you know. Yeah. I stood up because uh, uh, I tried to fight one of the guys mm. in, in order to, 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 to defend in, everyone and defend myself, but not knowing mm. that he had a gun. Mm. So he pointed the gun at me. And that's when I ran out the door because I didn't know what was going to happen. What were you all doing in the house just before these two guys um, entered the home? Um, basically, um, it was the time when I was dating Uzandi. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I came that day innocently. We was checking the chair down. You know what I mean? I didn't come uh, to even chill, you know? I just came to pick Zandi up. But then Uzandi told me, what you know, the mother has cooked some uh, Sunday lunch. Mm. Can I please stay over for the lunch? Uh, I mean, for, for, so it was actually, yeah, Sunday, can I stay over for the lunch and everything? So I was like, okay, you know, why not? You know, um, I, I loved Zandi at the time, you know, I wanted also a good, uh, a good uh, 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 reputation towards the mother and everything. So, I, you know, I, I stayed. So whilst we're, we're eating, whilst we're eating, um, that's when, uh, we were eating, sharing jokes and everything, and then that's when these two guys came in and re- uh, requested uh, money and, 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 and cell phones from us. Hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, to your recollection, you mentioned the fact that you ran out the house. I mean, is there anything else that is quite telling that you remember from that night in terms of what happened after Senzo was shot? Um, basically, I can't, I don't know what happened in the house because mm-hmm. I was not in the house at mm-hmm. the time. I was outside. All I heard was three gunshots. Hmm. Um, and from outside the house. From, from outside the house. All I heard was three gunshots. Um, but what what I remember after was just it was just chaos. Obviously, mm. we, were, we were trying to uh, bring Senzo uh, back. You know what I mean? Drove him to hospital and everything, and and only to find out the sad news that he had he had, he had passed on. It was mm. chaos. You know what I mean? And and yeah, and I'm speechless as well because yeah. yeah I mean, obviously, it's, it's, it's a case and it's an investigation. So yeah. in terms of interactions with the police, I mean, what's yeah. been your experience with that since the incident? Have you been interacting with the police? Have they called you? Um, yes, mm. we've, we've been investigated. We in, uh, investigated hardcore by police. Uh, they took our phones. Uh, I went in for questioning and everything. Did, and you, did you guys, um, which phones? 
uh, our, our self, our personal cell phones. Oh, okay. Yes, just, um, they, yeah. did, they hadn't taken them from you. They, they, yeah, they took them from us, and then the the criminals. I mean, no, 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 no. Okay. no. The criminals, they couldn't take my phone because I ran out. Yeah, right. I had my phone in my pocket, so mm-hmm. they didn't take my phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so then they took my phone and everything just to check if you know I've got any involvement in the in, in the murder, and they didn't find anything. We were acquitted by the police. We we're actually acquitted. Yeah. So I don't, I, I don't understand where all this is coming from. You know this. Yeah, and, and to be fair to you and, yeah. and some of the people who may or may not know uh, why all of a sudden these allegations yeah. have surfaced, aside from the fact that um, Senzo Meiwa's dad was on the drive yes. making his own allegations, mm. but um, there is a Twitter handle, um, yes. I think it's at Advocate Barry Rue. Yes, uh, heard about that. A number of things that have surfaced, and I'm just, just to clarify, mm. get things out of the way, mm. um, did you supply Kelly Kumalo with drugs? Was there ever any altercations no. based on drug money? Uh, no, uh, nothing at all. Because I mean, I've, I'm, I've been clean, you know. Even at that time, um, I was I was clean from drugs. Kelly herself is is off drugs, so I don't know what what these people are talking about. Even her, uh, Kelly uh, doesn't take drugs anymore. So it's all rubbish. All right. Yeah. And one of the most frequently asked questions from our listeners on the drive after our conversation with your dad, Chico Twala, yeah. yesterday, um, there are about 19, if not more, tweets of people asking, why did Kelly hmm. call your father, Chico, before calling the police? How did that happen? What exactly happened? Uh, um, basically, the police were there already. Okay, so they I don't, the, uh, Yeah, the police were there already, uh, and I don't know who called them because I, 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 I was also, you know, um, very saddened. I was actually uh, crying in a way because I'm, 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 I'm a Orlando Pirates supporter myself. You know, how can I murder my own goalkeeper? And how can I murder Send in front of his best friend without him coming out to get me in jail? Mm-hmm. Doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. One of the other massive talking points and also the reason primarily uh, why your father decided to speak to us yesterday is around the gun. Mm. And uh, one of the uh, allegations is that the gun that shot Senzo was in fact your dad's gun. Mm. Um, And he came on the show yesterday and he was responding to that. I mean, what's your response to uh, how that has now played a role in compounding the allegations? The story around the gun. Yeah, well, uh, my father is a very powerful man. Sorry to put it this way. Um, My father's got a lot to protect. But he doesn't walk around with bodyguards. My father carries his gun 24-7. You know what I mean? Um, he would never make that mistake and leave his gun anywhere. You know? He always has his gun on him. You know? And I respect my father. Why would I take his gun and, and, and mess around with it? You know what I mean? I could never do such a thing. Obviously, these allegations are doing the rounds and it's having an impact on your life. Yeah. What, what's that been like? You know, I'm actually saddened, saddened that my own people could do this to me. Um, I'm saddened that people just believe anything that comes from the media. The media is making money. They can write anything they want to write in order to destroy somebody, in, in order to gain something. Um, but um, I, as a, as a person, I'm, I'm actually very scared. Why are you scared? Uh, I'm not scared of that that uh, I can be arrested for killing Senzo because I know I'm innocent. I'm just scared that, you know, I can get the wrong crowd of people who can attack me for no reason. I mean, Sam Meiwa was... Uh, I was about to say, was, it's interesting because mm. Sam Meiwa is, um, according to him, mm. allegedly receiving death threats. Mm-hmm. So uh, we have no idea where that could be coming mm. from. Mm. Um, so... We said we'd be taking calls, but we're not taking calls. What are we doing right well, now? Well, we got a we got a, a lot of tweets coming in, um, and obviously people are, are asking all types of questions. And I, I suppose a lot of them are around what we've already been discussing around who called the ambulance. I mean, for example, uh, and it's all in the name of clarity, quite frankly. I mean, here's a tweet from Massive Underscore Sound uh, saying, "Why did Kelly call Longwood's father instead of the ambulance when Senzo was shot?" Mm-hmm. I mean, do you guys have you know? a discussion in terms of re- recalling the incidents of that night as you guys looked back and, and came together again? Um, basically, you know, I don't know why everything's on me. Kelly should also be here to actually explain this, her part of the story. Maybe she you, should be you, brought you know into the studio mean? next. Because I, I, I seriously don't know why everything is, is pointed at me. I don't know how even ambulance and stuff was called because, I mean, I, I, was, I was even... Because um, Kelly was the one who drove Senzo to the hospital. I followed probably... Uh, uh, 30, 40 minutes later because I couldn't find the hospital. You know what I mean? So I don't know how other arrangements were done. 
Why do you think, and I know this is a loaded question because you are not investigating this case, mm. why do you think it is taking police so long to find what is clearly indicating to be a bunch of amateur robbers? It's either, it's either these robbers are not South Africans, they probably skipped the country, or it's just that, well, maybe they're, they're the police are just not getting the forensic investigation right. They're not working hard enough. All right. Well, you know, I think we've pretty much asked all the questions that people have been asking on Twitter, and we certainly appreciate you making the time to be here. We have uh, decided not to take calls, and I do apologize to everybody who's calling in at the moment. But otherwise, you know, he came and um, he said what he's had to say. So you can continue to tweet us at Moflefa DJ at Masachabandlovo and be sure to hashtag the drive on Metro. And uh, you can also hashtag uh, Senzo Meiwa. As it continues, I certainly hope that we find answers and I certainly hope that someone, whoever is responsible for the death of Senzo, gets brought to book. Mo? No, absolutely. And, you know, I'm, I'm deeply saddened by what happened. I mean, before you go along, how, how do you feel about everything? The fact that Senzo's killer hasn't been found. Um, I feel, um, I've, I've, I feel saddened actually that, um, especially that fingers are pointed at me. You know, um, I feel that the, the police really need to get the investigation, the forensic investigation right. You know what I mean? And stop pointing fingers. You know what I mean? I was just saddened that, uh, that sense has gone, obviously, and that my own people could also do this to me, you know. All right. Thank you so yeah. much, uh, Longwe Twala, on the drive on Metro. It's time for headlines with Khupedi Dilokwe and sport news with Owen Honey.